Guys, I literally have no idea what I'm gonna get this week. Like, there's nothing. What do I do when there's nothing to buy on Supreme? And then on top of that, if you guys get this video to 1,500 likes, I have to do a live cop. But what am I gonna cop? There's nothing I want. This is gonna be quite the dilemma. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this is, I'm just gonna say it right now, this is easily the worst week. I've been debating when I'm gonna use that title, like the worst week of Supreme, but I think I can confidently say that they cannot drop a worse week than this. I felt like they were doing a good job of spreading the items out throughout the season and like giving us some fire items each week, but that all came to an end in week six of Supreme. But before we get into that, let me just say something, okay? Some of you guys had the audacity to come down my throat Maybe I shouldn't say it. Come at my throat, come at my neck that this Raekwon's friend was Ghostface Killer. First of all, you dirty, worthless piece of garbage peasant, except for my man Tommy, I love you boy. Try to correct me? Uh, excuse me, moi. But this is not Ghostface. Ghostface does not have this tattoo on his arm that low key, now that I'm looking at it, looks kind of like a dildo. But I'm just gonna assume it's like a missile or something. I don't know, but he doesn't have that tattoo on his arm. Yes, I could see some resemblance between him and Ghostface Killer. However, that's not Ghostface. You can check any credible source. Complex, High Snobody. Did I just say Complex and High Snobody were credible sources? You can check those sources, or you can even check Supreme Museum, where they even felt compelled to say it's not Ghostface. So many people were commenting it that you guys had me questioning my own knowledge. I had to hit my man BK the God and even ask him. And if you guys know BK the God, he is a Supreme OG. He's a legend. He knows. F Excuse me. Whoa. Especially when it comes to like the East Coast rap. I grew up on West Coast rap. That's why I gave you guys a little conspiracy theory about why I feel like they disrespected Tupac. And then some people had the audacity to call Tupac a East Coast artist. Like I understand he was born and raised on the East Coast, but he bangs West Coast. He claims West Coast. He makes West Coast style music. He raps over West Coast style beats. He's a West Coast rapper. Shut the. Y'all are not taking my childhood icon from me. Anyways, everyone reports that it was a security guard or his bodyguard. I didn't want to say that because I wasn't a thousand percent sure and I didn't want to sit here and hit the Google machine. So of course I just said friend because that's the verbiage that I used. I, I didn't want to say, I knew it wasn't Ghostface, but I didn't know what relation to him it was. So I chose not to say bodyguard. The Star Life is here to teach you some things about Supreme and Supreme collaborations. And now moving on to the other huge disagreement is Kermit from Sesame Street. Let me just say, I understand that Kermit did not originate on Sesame Street. I'm not saying he was born at St. Sesame on Sesame Street. He was on the block every day banging Sesame Street. Just SS. Okay, I probably shouldn't say SS, but you know what I'm saying. Sesame Street all day. I'm not saying that. But as a child, I grew up in the 90s. So yes, I watched Sesame Street and I've seen him on there many times. In fact, he was the number one guest star. He's been featured on a lot of their DVD covers. I never watched the Muppets because I wasn't born in the 50s, but he was never owned by the Sesame Street. However, he was a prominent figure on Sesame Street. So what I said in the video still holds true. The reason I feel like they did that, the only inanimate object photo tee they've ever done, every other photo tee has been a person. I guess you could kind of argue that the Ramel Z photo tee was a garbage god. It was more of like a caricature instead of an actual person. But the only one they ever did was Kermit, which has a strong relationship with Sesame Street. A lot of you guys were commenting like they had nothing to do with each other. I'm getting these comments and I'm like, bro, I remember as a child watching Kermit on Sesame Street. I watched him bang in Sesame Street, so I knew that he was like a prominent figure on Sesame Street. I didn't know all the Kermit lore. So much at arguing that he was never legally owned by Sesame Street. Duh, that's why I felt like Supreme did that was because that was something they could get the rights to when obviously Sesame Street did not fuck with Supreme and did not want their characters to be paired with this street aesthetic, which is why they told Supreme to stop carrying this shirt. Oh man, I keep burping and I don't know what it is. I'm surprised I'm not sneezing because of all the bullshit you guys keep spewing. And you guys know here on this channel, I'm allergic to bullshit. Anyways, hopefully that clears up some information. And now let's talk about this shitty ass drop list, even though it's already been like five fucking minutes. But hopefully you learned something. Uh, anyways, Let's get to this drop list. I'm actually gonna have my man uh, Darnell right here sum up this week's drop list. Darnell, what do you think of this week's drop list? It's fucking garbage. Wow, that was really insightful, brother. I really appreciate that insight. Thank you so much for sharing that. Anyways, uh, yeah, as you guys just heard Darnell say, this week is garbage. It's, there's really not much going on this week. It is headlined. I don't even want to say it's headlined because this collaboration is so trash. A Lamborghini collab? Like, what the f is this? I normally don't really care for car collabs. I don't mind it on sneakers. In fact, I will say Puma just did one of the best car collabs I've ever seen in my f 
f***ing life. I actually needed to curse and I'm probably still gonna try to bleep that out because I'm trying to like, you know, up my CPM. But here's a shoe that Puma did with Mercedes. They did send this to me, but I actually had, like, I had to beg them. Like, I saw this on, I think, High Snobiety or Hype Beast, and I had to, like, beg them to send me this shoe, as you guys know. I did, uh, celebrate and get a Mercedes. I don't know if that's the best financial decision, but I will say that I like my car a lot. Anyways, this shoe is fire. Just clean, subtle, you see a little Mercedes branding, you got a little AMG tag right here. This is a dope collaboration between a brand and a car company. Bro, they just fucking kill this. This looks like a fucking Balenciaga sneaker, and it's just so fire, so clean, so subtle. Everything that this Supreme Lamborghini collaboration is not. That being said, low-key, some of the, like, lime green colors they chose would kind of with that. Maybe I will cop something from this collaboration just so I can take a fit pic. The first piece they are dropping that is absolute garbage are these quilted jackets. And I'm gonna try to go quick and discuss everything that I don't like about this jacket. First of all, the big ass Lamborghini sign on the back. I absolutely f***ing hate this Lamborghini emblem and the reason for that is because I don't own a Lamborghini and I will probably never be able to afford one. And even if I was able to afford one, I would probably be a dumbass and go buy clothes instead because that's what I love. I don't care about owning a Lamborghini. I already feel like my Mercedes is much more than I need. If I'm really being honest with myself, I feel like I kind of miss my Honda Civic, which was plenty. If an A-Class Mercedes is already, like, way more luxury than I need, I'm never gonna need a Lamborghini. So I'm gonna have a big-ass logo on my back of a car I can't even afford, even though I will say the Lamborghini Urus is absolutely sexy, but I could buy a house for that price, so why would I do that? You got a bowl sucking on your titty, the little Lamborghini logo right there, and then the Supreme Cursive branding. I love the Supreme Cursive logo, uh, I just hate this jacket. I hate the contrast ribbing on like the bottom and the sleeves. Dude, why do I feel like the sun is beaming off that sign into my window right now? Is Jesus trying to speak to me? Jesus, you trying to say you like this collaboration or something? Because I swear to God, I'm going to become atheist real quick if you tell me you like this collab. I cannot support anyone who likes this collaboration. But anyways, that being said, the only thing I really kind of respect about this collaboration is that they did use Lamborghini colors. So if you look at the lime green, the orange, uh, well, black is just that's every car color. But anyway, the lime green and the orange specifically are like Lamborghini colors. I just wish they would have done it a little bit quieter. In yesterday's unboxing, I specifically said I really appreciated the Rem LZ collaboration because I feel like they actually put some thought into it as opposed to just slapping two brands on a piece and calling it a collab. And that's exactly what I feel like this is. By the way, if you guys didn't see yesterday's unboxing, go watch it. A lot of people showed love. That video got so much fucking support. I cannot say thank you enough. You guys have been killing it with the likes. So thank you for real. Anyways, next up we have these jerseys. And once again, these jerseys are just garbage. Big ass Lamborghini logo. You have like Automobili Lamborghini uh, in Italian. Uh, I don't know what terrible is in Italian, but it's probably like Terribili, ter Terribili. It probably rhymes with the Automobili. So uh, this should just say Terribili, Terribili. Whatever Italian is for terrible. If you're Italian and you're watching this, I apologize if you at all feel disrespected by my horrible attempt to use linguistics and uh, try to, you know what I'm saying, impress the ladies with my Terribili bilingual capabilities. But um, yeah, this is garbage. It says Supreme on the back in cursive. It's a hockey jersey. It's got a little V-neck, so that way if you have uh, any chest pubes, then maybe you can like curl those around the uh, collar um, overall, uh, I'm not a fan of this at all. If you guys could please count how many times I say garbage in the comments, if anyone gets that right, I will be very shocked because I feel like I'm going to say it way too much. By the way, speaking of which, in the last video, no one noticed, but I slowly added these chains to... <laughs> Like, throughout the video, I added, like, one chain, and then I added two chains. And I'm thinking about doing things in my videos, like, little subtle changes, and then wait to see if anyone gets it right, and if they do, like, send them, like, a Supreme gift or something. Anyways, next up we have the Supreme Rayon. Oh, I, I don't know if it's a Rayon, actually. I kind of hope it's not a Rayon. I hope it's more of, like, a canvas shirt because those hold up a lot better. This is probably the only piece that I kind of vibe with, but, like, I still won't get it. I feel like... The extremely enlarged logo looks kind of cool, which is weird because I was just complaining about the logo on the other one. I just feel like, once again, uh, it's not like creative, but for some reason it kind of looks cool. I don't know. I don't know why I like this, dude. I don't, I'm just a confused soul and I really cannot figure out what is like wrong with me. Why do I kind of think this piece is somewhat okay or decent? Um, anyways, uh, this is the only piece that I could really see myself ever wearing. That being said, I probably would still never wear it because I don't own a Lamborghini and I never will own a Lamborghini. I just wish it didn't say Lamborghini. Like even if they would have implemented the bowl in some way, but like done it in a way that's not just like yelling like, hey, I have a Lamborghini shirt on. You'll probably see fit pics with people in Lamborghinis, which I feel like Supreme tried to like beat all the influencers to the punch, but yeah, I don't know. This whole collaboration is garbage. Next up, you have some Supreme coveralls. Now this would be a great piece for a photo shoot. Uh, let's be real, no one that's buying this is going to be a mechanic. I will be really shocked if these sell out. Like that's just, just like everything else, Lamborghini badge on the back, Supreme little mechanic uh, patch on the titty, on the 
left chesticle or breastuses. And just like the shirts, the skateboards, and the beanies, it all is basically the exact same shit in the exact same colors, and it is all garbage. Now let's move to the lookbook. I really do not want to talk about this collaboration anymore. I don't even know why I'm excited to talk about the lookbook because there's really not much to discuss. That being said, I just need to talk about something that I at least personally appreciate, which are these wide whale corduroy cock pieces. I don't know why it's called wide whale corduroy. I don't know why it's called whale corduroy. If someone could please enlighten me, I've been asking this question every single video. Actually, even before this season when I saw a uh, Liz Claiborne or Claiborne jacket in the thrifts that said like whale corduroy and I asked in that video and no one has been able to answer this question I don't know if it's like the secret of the universe what is wide whale corduroy or what is whale corduroy I don't think it's like a whale like free willy or you know what I'm saying no, nothing like that because it's spelled w-a-l-e and I also don't know why I don't just Google it instead of asking you guys okay I'm just gonna Google it but anyways moving on this piece right here you have the classic logo which is a logo I think is super sick. I think this is one of the cleanest pieces to drop from Supreme. I don't know if I'm going to go for it. I think I'm going to have to because if you guys get 1500 likes on this video, I'm going to have to film a live cop and I don't know what else I'm going to buy. So I think I'm going to get this jacket, maybe these pants. I have no idea. I guess I could get the pants and then I could get them tailored and make them fit better because Supreme pants fit like literal dog shit. But overall, I think these pieces are sick. I did get the wide wheel corduroy cap that dropped a little bit earlier this season. Why did they do a box logo on the cap and then a classic logo on the jacket? That's kind of weird. Anyway, Anyways, if I do end up going for anything, I will probably go for the creme de la creme or bukkake colorway. If you guys are not new to the channel, you guys know what the bukkake colorway is. The bukkake colorway is like a white color that was infiltrated by about 10 to 16 dudes busting nuts or skeeting on that originally white jacket. Kind of like a Riley Reed porn. Shout out to my girl Riley Reed. She is truly the GOAT in the porn industry. Now the other notable colors besides the Bukaki colorway, you do have this orange and purple dropping. I think both these colors are kind of sick, but they're like just a little bit too like that 70s show, especially that orange. Like that orange really looks like it would be worn by my shorty Donna. Like I think that's Donna's hair color. Speaking of that 70s show, like a uh, chick from that 70s show that's really cute. Um, I don't... Mila Kunis? I don't know her name, but anyways, uh, HML, bank my line, slide my DMs. Actually, no, if any celebrities want to slide my DMs, it's Jennifer Aniston. I know you're single. I think she's like 51 years old or something like that. But anyways, Jennifer Aniston, I know you're single. You know what I'm saying? Slide my DMs. I don't need no money. Tags on Instagram. I just need to, uh, you know what I'm saying? Netflix and chill with you or quarantine and chill with you, whatever you want to do. Jennifer Aniston is like my dream celebrity crush. Anyways, enough talking about the ladies because we're here for the bros. Like, come on, we all know this is Supreme, a major cock fest, a bunch of penises having orgasms over clothes that uh, are extremely overhyped. So let's get back to that, baby. Next up, we have the Supreme cutout letter hoodie and sweatpant combo dropping. When I first saw the cutout thing, I was really excited because I was like, yo, they're dropping the cutout little like box logo thing. I don't, is it, is it a box logo? Sadly, uh, that's not what's happening. They're dropping these cutout letters. This looks, uh, very DIY to me. It looks like maybe a message from the Riddler or some shit. It's got these big ass letters randomly strewn about the piece and sewn on to the hoodie and sweatpants. I'm also not a fan of any of the colors they chose. I feel like this would have been a lot better with some neutral tones. Blue is really ugly. The red's decent. That like teal mint, I've always loved any shade of that color. So I, I fuck with that color. I like the gray. I'm not a big fan of the black. I feel like black would have only been kind of cool if they did tackle twill, kind of like they did the Stars crew neck. But like this, I think would have been really dope in a creme de la creme bukkake colorway. A mustard color would have been super sick. And when I say brown, I mean like a Carhartt brown or like maybe even like a beautiful like work tan color. Like those colors would have been so fire with this piece. However, they chose not to do that. And for that reason, it feels like, I don't know. I don't know, it's just a weird piece. I'm thinking about doing some polls on my Instagram, the Starlight, T-H-E-S-T-A-R-R-L-I-F-E. -E. I'm really curious to see what you guys think. I might just end up copying whatever the most voted item is. Assuming this video even gets 1,500 likes. Because on God, right now, I can tell you, if this video does not get 1,500 likes, there is no way in hell I'm doing a live cop on Thursday because I just don't even want to. <laughs> it's just a garbage week. Next up, we have this, uh, like, I don't know, young and... Reckless hoodie? Uh, maybe it's restless. I don't know. It's got Supreme right here on the titty, of course. What would a Supreme hoodie be without the chesticle branding? I will say these colors are colors that I feel like would have been nice with the cutout letters minus that pink. But like, look at that beautiful creme de la creme or even that vomit green. Like that vomit green, normally I'm not a fan of that color. I think the only color in this hoodie that I would really fuck with is that creme de la creme, especially if the letters on the back are blue. On the back, it has a bunch of shit in different languages that I cannot read. Less war, warnies, warnies. 
progressivement, the youth are getting restless. La juventud está en quinto. Uh, yeah, it says something like that. So anyways, um, I have no idea what it's saying. It could say dick on the back of it for all I know. And uh, I'm not going to get it, so it doesn't really bother me. Now, moving on, we have the Supreme pocket tee it's got the contrast stitching I really wish once again they did other colors and I wish they didn't do contrast stitching I'm not a fan of the contrast stitching that's my own personal thing I like it on some jackets or some pants and I like black and white but like these other colors not a fan I do like this tee I like the branding that goes like all the way down from your titty to your like abdomen region also that print would have been a little bit harder since it's going straight over a pocket and I normally hate this fucking font they use because oftentimes they will have like a super dope hoodie with this fucking annoying ass block font going down the sleeves. It looks so fucking ugly, but I really do like it on this piece. That being said, I'm not copying these for my personal. These are premium tees. They are going to be between $70 and $80, and uh, yeah, your boy's not copping it. And then, last but definitely least, we have the hats. You guys know how I feel about hats. I don't even need to go over it. We have this like twill camp cap. It's got the American flag uh, print, which I think this is a decent piece to cop. If I was to cop, I would definitely get the uh, colored flag. As you guys know, I did serve in the military. In fact, one of my favorite pieces right now, oh, I better not have lost that shirt. I love that shirt. Yes, right here, baby. This right here, which is like a memorial shirt for 9-11. It's a little vintage tee that I bought. It says America. You got the stars in there. Uh, originally, I was actually going to... I bought this to resell, and I was literally going to post it on my site. I have a vintage site where I sell shit, but I decided not to because it fits so good. I love the distressing on it. It's like this beautiful, dirty cream. You got some little holes in the back. It just looks kind of raggedy, and it's been washed to perfection, so it feels oh so freaking soft. After joining the military, I definitely have developed a little bit of patriotism, you could say. So, I, you know what I'm saying? I love my country. I love where I'm from. I'm blessed to be here. When I was younger, I used to be homeless, and I feel like I'm so honored to live in a country where I could truly do that, and I'm not gonna talk too much about politics because this video is probably already too long, but um, just in general, uh, the fact that I even live in a country where I'm able to literally go from homeless, join the military, fix my fucking life, and be given an opportunity where I can do shit like this is insane. Oh my god. Then, last, and this is definitely least, like, no doubt, this is definitely least. You have this ugly ass alarm clock logo supreme fucking six panel curve brand. Uh, wow, this is garbage. I don't... Bro, this is terrible. This looks like it could be a Porsche collab. Like, this is disgusting. Even the camo they did, like, they just ruined that camo, bro. Like, why would you use this logo on a camo? It just doesn't go well. You know what? And before I go, I do want to clarify something. When I hate a piece or I dislike a piece, when I think a piece is garbage, I do want to say I am in no way trying to come at your own personal style. You might like it. You might be able to wear it. You might be able to pull it off. So please do not let my opinion uh, deter you from buying a piece that you like. If you like a piece in your heart, it should not matter what the fuck I think about it. I don't care what, it shouldn't matter what anyone thinks about it. Anyone you watch on YouTube, it should not matter what they think about it. If you like a fucking piece, buy that fucking piece and fuck what anyone else got to say about it. That's something I truly feel passionate about. When I started doing these videos, no one else was doing it. Literally the only other person that did it and we started the exact same week was Sleepy who is a fucking homie. I'm really proud of him, and I'm really excited to see what bro does in the future. I really wish he would continue to make videos. Obviously, when I see, like, smaller creators do shit, that, like, that brings me passion. Like, I love that shit more than fucking anything. It's something I'm truly passionate about. I'm not even bleeping the segment out. Fuck my CPM. Fuck all that shit. All I want to say is genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, if you want to do something, or if you like something, do not let anyone else's opinions deter you from doing that or buying that. I don't know why I got so passionate about it, but I just want to say, like, when I first started these videos, no one else was doing them. Literally, me and Sleepy started the exact same week. We were the first ones to ever do, like, these weekly reviews on YouTube. Okay, real quick, um, my battery died right there, and I'm pretty sure that was my camera's way of telling me to shut the fuck up. I just want to say when I originally started the series, my intention was to not deter you guys from what to buy, but just give my opinions on the drop, what I wanted, why I wanted it, and discuss whether or not you guys should potentially go for certain pieces when it comes to reselling. And when it comes to reselling, I would say I don't recommend acquiring anything from this week. I am hoping they restock Air Forces or Oreos. Uh, Oreos they restocked on Monday. I, of course, missed that. And, of course, it still is kind of early, so maybe Drops by J will bless us with some more information if you guys don't know all the information comes from drops by jay thankfully my man blessed us with the drop list somewhat early this week not as early as it has been he's been getting it to us like monday but my man's been working hard so jay thank you i appreciate you brother like i said if you guys want to see a live cop smash the like button down below and i will gladly waste my money this week because there's really not much to cop but anyways thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart hopefully you guys appreciate all the ranting today thank you so much for watching and as always peace the fuck out Hey! The bang, bitch, holla when you feel this. Fresh up out the county, tell them hoes to get up on me. I was in that motherfucker with some killers.